Workflow rules allow you to automate your entire back end process for a variety of things based upon record actions, field actions, you name it. There are so many different things you can do that can trigger these workflow rules. And so Tyler, why don't you take us through the basics? We'll kind of do a little give and take on this one. But if we look here at the settings, that's how you get here. You're going to go to workflow rules. And once you're in workflow rules, you're going to see all of the workflow rules that you've set up. And we're actually have left from the demo account. We're actually going to look at a workflow rule that is actually in use at Zanata. So how you would do this rule is how you would make it is you click on create rule and then here you are. So Tyler, why don't you kind of step through this a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So the way that you want to think about these workflow rules is they all follow if then logic. And that's kind of the, the whole framework around automation is if a thing happens in here, then do this other thing. Right, and so in here, you've got a couple different options for the trigger up here in this box at the top. And you can think about the trigger as the if. So the one we have selected here is if a record is created or edited such that we have the stage of awaiting payment and the new client first SOW, meaning on our in our terms, basically that this is the first engagement they have with us, is selected, then we wanna do these set of things these instant actions that come below. So basically the structure is, you know, what trigger do you want? So we had a trigger of if a record is created or edited, then we have a criteria where we say, if the record is created or edited such that the stage is awaiting payment and this checkbox is selected, then we wanna do these set of actions. And we'll see a couple different types here, which I'll quickly touch on. Um, so you have a field update over there on the left-hand side. So a field update is basically saying, you know, we're going to update an account status. We're going to update a contact status. Maybe we're going to apply a date stamp to a field saying, you know, mark that they became a client on this day, right? We have a click notification that goes out. So that's basically an internal notification to our chat tool saying, you know, that this deal is moving forward. And then we have a set of tasks that'll get created and assigned right, to send a welcome email, to set up a client portal, et cetera, et cetera. So you have different types of actions that you can run when this workflow is triggered. And over here on the right-hand side, we'll see that we also can program in scheduled actions. So this might be useful for when you say, you know, maybe if we wanted to send an email the day after they had, you know, signed a contract, then we could set up a delayed or scheduled action to happen using that feature. So it can be kind of nice, you know, the way that a lot of the times this could be useful is, you know, let's say you want to have a workflow where anytime that a lead is created from the contact us form, they get a series of three emails. So maybe you would have an instant action that sends an email right away. Maybe one business day later, they'd get the second email and two business days after that they'd get the third. So you can even build kind of like little lightweight drip campaigns using these workflows as an example of where they can plug into the system. So these are kind of like the, you know, the back end that kind of runs all of the automations in the system, um, you know, because they can trigger emails and tasks and even custom functions, which we're not really going to dig into today, but those can do some pretty incredible things in the CRM, all just triggered based on these workflows. And workflows as well can be stacked. So you have this condition one up here, but you also can have condition two. So oftentimes you'll want multiple things based upon a all around stage. Now we have if the stage is moved to active, then we basically want to notify everybody in the company that in fact this account has now moved into production, it's active, and please start work on it and engage with the customer. Uh, we also have, you know, if once it's done, when all of the work has been completed and the stage has been moved to completion, well, what happens then? Well, then we want to go ahead and send out a client engagement survey and let everybody know, hey, guess, you know, how did we do? Are you happy with this or not? Or when it's a, you know completed and it's not a brand new client, well, we just we always want to update the SO no matter what. We always want to say here's the date that it was completed. So just by moving it to the stage that we've finished working on this project, we're automatically updating that field. So I'm going to give you a little sneak preview here now. You might notice something looks a little different on this screen. This is actually, like we said, our production CRM, and this is a test deal to kind of show you what this would look like. 
uh, you'll notice that the page looks different. This is the new UI that everybody will be getting, hopefully in the next week or two. We know it's supposed to be the first week in March. This is gonna roll out to everybody. So this is a little sneak peek of what you guys are gonna see and the changes. Everything's broken down into nice sections rather than having kind of one white screen. We're kind of torn up internally here as to, you know, some of us love it, some of us are okay with it. Um, but if you look at this and you kind of go through, you say, hey, it's a discovery call. And you've got the discovery call. And then you want to look at, you've got, you know, what happens. Uh, there's no open to do's, but now I make it, hey, guess what? It's awaiting payment. And all of a sudden we've got four open to do's. And what do those look like, right? Those look like send welcome. And all of a sudden the open to do's are all right there. So that really is what that's that workflow in process. As soon as you moved it to that one stage, then away you go and it's uh it's ready to go